about that intro. Oh, uh, what's up? When are you going to do yeah, that you... intro? Oh, yeah, give me one second. I just want to finish this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this game is so good. I, I wish they'd release this in HD or make a new one or something. What's going on with that? Hey, guys. Welcome to Episode 6. F-Zero is this week. You had a choice between Punch-Out or F-Zero. And there's no love for Punch-Out, apparently. I'm the only one. But enough about me talking, this episode's all about speed! We gotta go! Let's do this episode! We start a little adventure off in Mute City, and while this stage does have a lot of massive buildings with a lot of windows, you will only come to find out that these buildings have nothing in it. Not a shocking revelation, but as explorers, we have to know, right? And it's best not to be disappointed. Whoa! What is that? Okay, we caught up to it, and I do need to give you a little disclaimer right now, I do use the pause button for moving objects. I know, it's not sexy, but it's the best way to get a good look at some of this stuff. So, upon closer inspection, we see that it's a futuristic train or monorail type system. It's made up of a lot of basic shapes, so there's not a whole lot of detail to it, except for, most notably, the gear that holds it to the rail. It's funny that the most negligible thing has the most amount of detail to it. Very interesting. Okay, now we're checking out Sand Ocean inside its own pyramid. And what's really cool about this track is that they actually have audience members checking out the race from inside these upside down pyramid devices. I don't know what you really call it, but it looks really interesting. And so we take a look inside to get a better look at these characters. And wow, you know what? Aside from the different skin colors, and no, I'm not being racist, I'm talking about like characters that are actually blue and purple here, these audience members are really plain looking, at least when you compare them to the F-Zero racers. And they seem to use the same sprites for the big blue stage, so I thought I'd show them off here to let you see these plain Janes in their natural color and in better lighting. Oh, Big Blue, have you ever disappointed me? The answer is no. So what does Big Blue have? A Big Blue City! Is anyone else here starting to get the same vibe that we got from the Super Smash Bros. Melee episode with that little town? I'm feeling it big time right now. Well, just like last time, we're going to take a little tour together. So this settlement is massive. It's mind-boggling to me that they would go through all this effort just for most players to probably not even notice that it even existed while they were going through the race. Honestly, this entire area could be used in something like Skies of Arcadia. Do you guys know what Skies of Arcadia is? Look it up. Get yourself familiarized, because it's going to be a future episode someday for sure. Great googly moogly, man. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. This is insane. Alright, I'm sorry. It's just too big. We're taking flight. Like, I know it has very basic textures, but the architecture, man, the architecture alone must have taken these guys like a week to put this in the game. Now, I find this personally interesting, and I could easily look at this for another hour, but for the sake of moving the show along, I, I gotta move on, right? I gotta move on? All right, let's 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 move on. All right, we're back at Sand Ocean, and ooh, what's that in the distance? Are those birds? I think they're birds. Let's get a closer look. All right, let's get a good look at. Oh, pause. Sorry, but at least you get a good look at what appears to be a dirty Zubat. <laughs> Don't know a better way to describe that. So he appears to have moth-like ears and sharp owl-like talons, and oh no. Didn't mean to go in there. That's embarrassing. Sorry, Mr. Dirty Zubat. We'll get out of your body post-haste. But I gotta say, this is actually an incredible amount of detail for a flying bird-like creature that you otherwise would never be able to see in the regular game. It would make a lot more sense for them to just cut corners and just make it a blotch with wings. Hey, Rob. You're not really much of a secret to anybody these days, are you? But that's okay. We're not really here for you. We're here for the other secrets of Port Town Arrow Dive. So let's dive right in. Oh, nope, nope. <laughs> Instantly regretted that joke. That was a bad one. So actually, the only thing I really wanted to show you is that this massive cargo ship seems to be carrying even smaller vehicles. Again, this is a detail that you would never otherwise see, so I thought that I'd show this off to you. All right, let's see the little aliens mentioned in Did You Know Gaming. Gotcha! Oh! oh! Well, that was a monumental failure. Let's try that again. Gotcha this time. 
So since these guys don't have a name, I have decided to call them Interstellar Lakitus, since they exist for no other reason than to rescue my ship from falling off the edge. So as we take a look inside the ship, we begin to see that these guys are actually featureless tie-dye tears. I mean, I'd imagine you need a face to do anything as far as piloting goes, but this is F-Zero. This is F-Zero. So as we near the end of this episode, and I know, try not to be too sad, we got one little secret left for you. And that is when you win a Grand Prix in F-Zero, if you zoom out a little bit on the platform, it says GameCube version. Don't know why it felt the need to announce itself as the GameCube version, but I do admit it's a neat little secret. And I'd like to end this on a zoom out of the Victory Stadium. Enjoy. That's a great machine you've got there. The Blue Falcon is the fastest machine on the circuit. I'd love to ride in that kind of machine just once in my life. That's it, everyone. We'll see you at the next Grand Prix. That was episode six. I hope you enjoyed it. So I made a uh, Twitter account. I'm not, I'm not that good with Twitter. I have no idea how it really works. But I made one. I never really used Twitter. But what I intend to do with it is to share my thoughts here and there. Maybe let you know, in on some news. But more importantly, every single time I make a post, I'll be sure to add a picture of a screenshot of a game that you can't see at a certain angle. I already got one up, so you can have an example, and, you know, if that's a good idea, let me know. Alright, so next episode is going to be a choice between either Twilight Princess or Brawl and Melee Leftovers. I might call it that, I don't know. Uh, you can decide. But, yeah, vote down below in the description and let me know. Alright, guys, show me your moves. That was really stupid. Alright, later. <laughs>